Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to take a little bit of a look at, well, the rest of them. The rest of the cards from what is going to become battle styles over here. We looked at Single Strike Master yesterday. It only seems fair that we would look at the remaining cards from Rapid Strike Master today, which, as far as I'm concerned, is by far the better of the two sets. And then this will conclude the set until I realize I've forgotten one, and that's going to be a little bit awkward, but I'm sure we'll get through it somehow. So let's start off having a look at Grass, and let's start off with Lorantis. We all love Lorantis, right? Is this Lorantis any good? Well, starting off, we got 120 HP, which, as I've said quite a lot, there's a difference, a big difference between 120 and 130. A lot of Pokemon naturally hit 120. It's one of the numbers Pokemon just keep printing, so that's not ideal. And the weakness to fire is not ideal because of all those welded X. But as I've said in a bunch of Pokemon analyses things, Volcanion with just two energy will only hit 100, so at least you survive that. First attack, 30 damage, heal 30 is fine. I like the single energy attack, but you're a stage one. You've gone to all the effort of evolving, and you don't actually do more than 30 damage. And sure, you heal 30, but you've only got 120 HP, and you've got a pretty bad weakness. Like, something like an Excadrill. Yes, I'm going to mention Excadrill at every opportunity, because I love him. Something like an Excadrill is going to get a really straightforward, easy KO on you here. Escadrill, incidentally, is one of those many Pokemon I mentioned that naturally hits for 120. It really is a weirdly common number. So, you're not doing much damage, and you're not healing enough, and you've got quite a low HP, so I don't think anyone's going to be tanking with this. Second attack, 2 energy, 70 damage, no. One of the cards I showed you yesterday from Single Strike Master, which I like way more than I probably should, is Fero. And Fero is a stage 1 with free retreat that for one colourless energy does 70. So if you're coming at me with a colourless and a grass to do 70, I'm just saying no, quite frankly. I don't think that's good enough. But maybe Crawdaunt could be a little bit better. You never know. Could be fun. Crawdaunt comes in at 130 HP, and look, that's the number I said we wanted in terms of HP, so we've at least got that. We've then got a weakness to Lightning, which is not ideal because, I mean, you know, things like Pikachu and Zekrom, Raichu and Alolan Raichu are going to get one-hit KOs anyway, but it means that something like a Bolt on V, for instance, they're going to have a bit of a field day, and that's going to be a little bit sad. In terms of the attacks here, free energy, 60 damage, discard a card from your opponent's hand. And I don't hate this, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. it. It it's fine. I would I would refer to it as I have in the past as aggressively fine. I don't think it's a particularly amazing attack, but you can use twin energy and you can use frost moth to accelerate energy. And if you combine this with something like reset stamp in the late game, your opponent's got one prize remaining, you reset stamp them to one, and then use Crawdaunt to discard that one card, and just really try and lock them out of the game. It could be fun. You can always combine this with something like an Ore Beetle, which allows you to rearrange the top three cards of your opponent's deck. And maybe if you can play good enough Hand Disruption, discard with this, and then rearrange that top deck with Ore Beetle, this could work. But I rather suspect that we're in this situation again where the damage output is a little bit too low and the combo is just a little bit too awkward to get rolling. I'd like to be wrong, but I do suspect it's just not going to end up being quite good enough. Moving over into Lightning, we have a new Pachirisu. 70 HP is absolutely terrible. And you've got a weakness of fighting. What I will say is Excadrill hits a natural 30. Well, initially, so you'll survive that hit, but you won't survive a Drill Bazooka, so it doesn't really matter. You ain't lasting long as Pachirisu. Now, the first attack here, one colorless energy, find a friend, flip a coin. If head, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Now, to be fair, we do have Glimwood Tangle, and Glimwood Tangle will give you a 75% chance of finding a Pokemon. But bearing in mind, right, best case scenario, 
you flip a head and you get to search a Pokemon. It's basically, it's literally, it's Pokeball. It is Pokeball as an attack. Best case scenario, you get to search a Pokemon, but there's going to be a decent chance here that you flip and then never actually find anything because you flipped a Tails. That's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't know if I can really recommend this much at all. It's not that long since we had the Alolan Vulpix that for zero energy automatically searched you two Pokemon. And maybe this is an admission on the part of the game designers that they made a mistake of Alolan Vulpix and Alolan Vulpix was too good. But no. No. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not buying it. This is just a, a, a bad card. Sorry. I mean, it's not a particularly great card, but the Chime Echo from Vivid Voltage for one colorless energy will search a Pokemon and a support card. Support her card. That was weird. So, yeah, um, there is absolutely no reason to play this when, when Chime Echo is a thing. Unless the second attack is good. No, we're talking two energy, 30 damage. Yes, you can use it for a twin energy. No, I don't think this is actually going to end up seeing any play whatsoever it's not good ladies and gentlemen i like pachirisu we've had some banging pachirisu cards in the past this ain't one of them which is annoying because pachirisu is like a well popular pokemon never mind maybe we can see a little bit more love for marowak and look straight off the back marowak is a fighting pokemon which means weakness on stuff like eternatus v max and the aforementioned pikachu and zekrom so, there's a lot to like initially. And if you're behind on prizes, Karate Belt will reduce your attack cost by one. Fighting energy. And Martial Arts Dojo will let you do extra damage, so maybe this could be awesome. Well, 110 HP on a stage one isn't great. I mean, I mentioned that I want 130. 110 is going too far the wrong way. I don't mind the weakness of Grass, because Grass sees very little play right now. And as for the ability... This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. It's an ability we've seen on a million different Pokemon in the past, and honestly, it's alright. Like, I'm not saying it's particularly good. I don't think it's particularly good. But I am saying, it's alright. It helps to mitigate your lower than ideal HP. As for the attack, Bone Meringue, you flip two coins and you do 90 damage for each head. Which could be good. I mean, you can add 180 here and 180 is good. Pretty much any single prize Pokemon will go down here. Because of weakness, you only need a single head to get a one-hit KO on a Crobat, for instance. And if you're behind on prizes, you've got a Martial Arts Dojo out and you flip double heads. That's 220 damage and that's a one-hit KO on a Zashim. The problem is you need kind of Glimwood Tangle to try and make sure you flip those double heads or at least give yourself a good enough chance. But the problem then is that you're not playing Martial Arts Dojo. So, I mean, if you're behind on prizes, Karate Bout, Martial Arts Dojo, one energy, flip a double heads, one hit KO on a Zashim. But you need to flip double heads, and you need to be behind on prizes, and you need to Karate Bout all the second energy. And it's another one of those Pokemon that the numbers are fine, and it looks all right on the face of it. It's just not actually good enough when you really sit down and try and plan out how to build a deck around it and how to make it work. It just falls apart. But hey, that's not the only fighting Pokemon we can talk about in this particular video. We've also got Conkeldurr. Who doesn't love a bit of the old Conkeldurr? And it's interesting to note, Conkeldurr was last actually printed in the X and Y base set. Which was a while ago. Like, this is the first Conkeldurr that we've had printed since February 2014. This is coming out in March 2021. Which means it will have been seven years since we last heard a Conkeldurr. And bearing in mind it's being popped in my roundup video, that should tell you what you need to know about how much the card designers love Conkeldurr. So what we've got here is 160 HP, which is fine for a stage two. It, it's about what the bigger ones tend to have. Weakness to Psychic, which means weakness to Mew to a Mew, which isn't ideal. Although Mew to a Mew can usually hit 160, but it's still not a great weakness. We've got free energy, 90 damage, 
During your opponent's next turn, the defending evolved Pokemon can't attack. Well, hang on a second. This sounds really, really good. Why didn't Conqueror get its own video? Uh, the answer essentially is because I wanted to start getting to the roundup and we, we ran out of time. But it's also because we've seen this before. We've seen this attack on Metagross. Colored, double colorless energy. If the defending Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, it can't attack during your opponent's next turn. And Metagross sees no play. Now, to be fair, this does do 10 more damage and does hit a better weakness. But the thing is, although you get a one-hit kill on a Crobat, you don't get a one-hit kill on a Picaron. You don't even get a one-hit kill on a Turnitus V. That's alone the V Max. So, if this did, say, 120, and I could get Picaron and a Turnitus V and all of that, while shutting down Evolve Pokemon, I could really like this. But the fact of the matter is, Evolution Pokemon don't see enough play. Obstagoon does the same thing for basic Pokemon, and it's awesome because we're in a basic heavy format. What we've got here is a better weakness-hitting version of Metagross, but Metagross has proven this isn't good enough right now, and that's genuinely a little bit sad. And to be fair, Metagross has a great ability that gives all your Pokemon free retreat, and it still isn't enough. The other attack, 4 energy, 150. It's far too expensive. I'm not even going to humor that attack. That attack sucks. Moving on then to another metal Pokemon. It's Steelix. We're getting ourselves a new Steelix. I've developed a real soft spot for Steelix as a Pokemon lately. So I'm a little excited to see how good this one could end up being. But again, it's in the roundup video, so lower your expectations. Now, to be fair, Stage 1 Pokemon 190 HP is ridiculous. That is crazy high. You know, the Steelix we got in Cosmic Eclipse I really like had 170. It is worth pointing out we have actually had 190 HP Steelix before. It's the one from Celestial Storm. I find it funny that Steelix EX only had 180. So these two actually outpace. In terms of HP, they actually outpace... Steelix EX, which is a little bit weird, but hey-ho. What is a Steelix? Oh, and it's got a weakness to fire, which we do not like because there's way too many good fire decks around. Plus, you know, Center Scorch is one of the best decks in the game right now. So not loving that. What do we have? Free energy, flip two coins, 80 damage for each heads. Sounds familiar because it's very similar to Marowak's attack. Now, one thing I do like about this is it's colorless energy, so you can play it in a welder deck and just attach an extra energy. If you've got a way to accelerate one energy, you can use twin energy, or you can just use triple acceleration energy, but do bear in mind that will fall off at the end of your turn. The thing is, we're now back to Glimwood Tangle, and if we flip double heads, that's 160, which should be enough to get a one-hit KO on a Dedene, and you get a little bit excited about it, and you're like, well, that's two prizes, that's pretty good, and then you remember that Dedene is a Sun and Moon Era Lightning Pokemon, and therefore has a resistance to metal. So you're getting most single prize Pokemon, but you're not hitting anything relevant for weakness. Dedene is resistant, so actually survives, and you've got to muck around with triple acceleration energy and flipping coins. Can't recommend it. As for the second attack, the good news is you do 200 damage. The bad news is it's for a metal, 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 colorless, colorless. And you're not hitting anything relevant for weakness. Way too expensive. If metal was the best type in the game and you were hitting a great weakness and getting a one-hit kill on a bunch of relevant V maxes. I would consider this, although even then, you've got like Metal Saucer and maybe Turbo Patch before you evolve, but it's not exactly an easy, it's not the easiest type to accelerate energy to. So even then, it might end up being just a little bit too expensive, which sucks because I really like, I really like Steelix. Speaking of Metal Pokemon, although this one is a Metal Pokemon with a bit of an identity crisis, because it hates metal Pokemon, we've got Bishop. Now, Bishop's got 110 HP, and I've said I want 130 on a stage one, so no. Same bad weakness to fire, but again, 110 means you will survive a hit from Volcanium, unless your opponent's got two extra energy on the field. So it could be worse. And then in terms of attacks, we've got one colorless energy, 30 damage. Just a straight 30 damage. For one colorless energy. What? No! 
No. I showed you... What was the one I showed you? Fero. One color synergy, 70 damage. Like, Fero is making these Pokemon look stupid, and Fero is supposed to be a terrible card. One metal, two colorless energy, 90 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a metal Pokemon, this attack does 90 more damage. And this is awesome, right? 180 damage, free energy, yeah. I'm all in on this, this sounds awesome. In a meta game where metal is very widely played. Here's what I'll tell you. You'll get more Isle. Now, of course, as it stands at the moment, metal is incredibly widely played because Zashin is the best attacker in the game. Not to mention Zamazenta sees a huge amount of play. And surely this is amazing. Well, no, because you only do 180. Now, if this did 220 to a metal Pokemon and got a one-hit KO on Zashin, now we can talk. But the reality is Zashin gives up two prizes and one hit KOs you. So if you are two hit KOing them, you're basically each taking one prize per attack. You need to be taking more prizes per attack than Zashin to make you a good Zashin counter, and you're not. You hit them, they KO you. You then KO them, but then they KO you right back, and you've just traded two for two. Except you've had to use two Pokemon to do it, and they've had to use one. So we're actually in a metal-heavy format at the moment. And hitting extra damage against metal Pokemon would be big. But you're not doing enough damage to KO the only metal, well, the only relevant metal Pokemon, you know, Zashin and Zamazenta. And if you're giving me an attack like this, which specifically hunts metal Pokemon, but doesn't KO the one super relevant one, I'm not going to be terribly impressed. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is, as far as I am concerned, all the remaining Pokemon from, well, what's going to be Battle Styles over here, but what is Rapid Strike Master over in Japan? So now it's over to you guys. I want to know what you think about these Pokemon. I want to know which of these you like. I want to know which of these you think are terrible. So go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching money's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio